So now we're going to show you guys how to use our Ngram analysis tool, which is something that's going to help you get a little bit deeper into your analysis of search term reports and potentially discover some wasted spend and some really good negative phrase match keyword opportunities. So we'll dive in. What you're going to get from us is a sheet that looks like this. It's a Google sheet. You'll not be able to make changes on this. It's a, a view only access link that we give you. So just hit file, hit make a copy, and that will allow you to copy over a, a personal version for yourself to own and keep and edit and do whatever the heck you want with it. So you'll copy it over, you'll get this and you'll see on the input tab, this is going to be where you're entering your search term data. And so download that search and report and we're just going to copy paste it over here and you'll see exactly how we start using it. But you'll take a quick note here. We have impressions, clicks, spend, orders, sales. To make our copy paste easy, we're just going to want to rearrange the columns on our search term report to align with that. So I have a search term report over here. This is just how it comes from Amazon. But you see we have impressions, clicks are already in the right row or sorry, right order. And then we have CTR and CPC. We don't need those. So we can just delete these really quickly so that we have spend next impressions, clicks, spend. And then the other sheet said orders sales. So we'll take the orders column here and we'll insert that here. And what that's going to allow us to do is basically you'll see you can come and you can just copy paste it and all of those are aligned. So I recommend just, just putting those, those through just rearranging really quickly to make the copy paste super fast and easy. And then we're just going to come through and we're going to copy paste the rest. Now, if you have a really large file size and when you come in here and paste it, sometimes it'll take a minute to load. So when you're ready to paste in all your data, you'll just hit paste and you'll be able to see that it takes a second here. And then you'll also see up here, keep an eye on this loading bar column because sometimes with Google Sheets, because it is, you know, it's, it's using Google's kind of cloud computing stuff. Sometimes things break Amazon or Google kind of limits some, sometimes how much computational power you can actually pull from them on their Google sheets thing. So if that ever, if you ever run into that issue, you can just try it again. This time it, it seems like everything went through, but sometimes you'll go through and it says, Hey, there was an error. We broke or whatever. And that just means that basically they couldn't process it all. In this case, it, it worked out just fine. You can see when the loading bar goes away, that means it's completed. It loaded successfully all almost 10,000 rows of, of data here. If you're ever, I, I've been able to get through with 10,000 rows pretty consistently and it works. If it doesn't work, I just try it again and then it goes through. If you're really having issues with, with Google limiting you, just put things into smaller batches, just do like 2,000 or 3,000 rows at a time and you can just keep adding them in just one after another after another and it, it should work. But just so you know, Ad Labs is, we're going to be putting this whole thing into Ad Labs so you don't have to deal with Google's whole limitations. We'll be able to allow you to use as much computing power as you want. And we'll also be connected to the ad consoles, the API. So it's just, you don't have to worry about downloading search and reports and copying, pasting, all that kind of stuff. It'll just already kind of be there in one place. So be on the lookout for that. At the time of recording, it's not done. But anyways, so we put all of our data in here. We have 9,700 terms. And... What this Ngram analysis is going to do is you'll see we have two year anniversary to your anniversary gifts to your anniversary cotton gift. You know, we have a whole bunch of different versions of searches for anniversary where you can see that right here. You know, there's been no orders. Each of these only spending 11 cents, not a major amount of spend. Typically, when people are going through their search reports, all they're doing is, you know, they'll come through here and they'll just say, you know, sort by spend. And they're looking for anything here with, you know, high spend, no sales. But what you might not realize is every time that anniversary comes through, you know, all of these cumulatively is 55 cents of spend across different search terms that were containing the word anniversary. So what, an, what the Ngram analysis tool is going to do is it's going to break each individual search term out into individual components. So this becomes two plus year plus anniversary, three components. This is four components. There's two and year and anniversary and gifts, four components. So it breaks everything out, all the search terms out into those individual word components. And then it sums all of the data together for everything that says two, everything that says year, anything that says anniversary, everything that says gifts. And it starts bringing all that data together. And then when you go into the, to the monogram, you would actually be able to see how does the term anniversary do across all of its appearances 
in all of my search terms. So when you come over here to the monogram tab, now you will see all of the times in which a single word is appearing in all of the search terms that will all appear here. So I'm not actually sure we could take a quick look at anniversary since anniversary. So here you can see in total, we spent 224 and didn't get any sales. So, you know, there, there's not always going to be, you know, you don't, not every single thing in here you have to go through and negate or whatever. And we're not saying that you just come through here and say, you know, you can sort by, you know, highest day costs or something like that. You don't necessarily want to come through here. Like this is a good example, size. Uh, this, this particular client is selling clothing. I'm sure size comes up a lot as people are looking for different sizes of clothing. You don't want to come through here and just negative phrase size from the account just because it has a high ACOS. There's something else that could be going on here, right? It's maybe there's, there's a mismatch between all of your individual keywords. Maybe, maybe you're accidentally just, you, you didn't really do a good job of putting things into single product ad groups and making sure that the small products are going after small size and the larger products are going after large size, whatever size, small size, medium, you know, that might be a reason why size is not doing well in aggregate. Every time that the, that the word size appears in a search term is, is having a really high ACoS, really low conversion rate. So that's, that's something that you, you could look at. All this tool is supposed to do really is just help you find, give you a different perspective on the data in your account. So you can know to start go looking through maybe more specifically, like you could, you could then come back here and say, huh, that's interesting. Let me come through my search and report and find everything that contains size and see what might be going on. You know, you can take a look at your, your ad groups and, and maybe you're realizing that the, you know, the different search the, the ad groups and, and where those search terms are going through aren't super relevant. And it can clue you into the fact that you should be doing a better job with your, with your keyword relevance to your product and your, your harvesting methods. But there are some scenarios and, and something else too, is that we've been running engrams on our accounts for quite a while. So the, most of this is already going to be cleaned up. We're probably not going to get any good examples on, on this account of a good negative phrase match opportunity, but one really, really good one from an example from the past is I had a client that was selling silicon products and there, we ended up finding out after doing a, a monogram report that the word steel was showing up in a lot of search terms and we never would have seen it because it was, you know, several thousand of individual kind of low click, low spend search terms where we're using different variations of the word steel on different, and yes, different variations containing the word steel in the search term that no one individual term would have flagged any red flags for us. But cumulatively, when you break out all the search terms containing the word steel, you saw that in aggregate, it was a lot of wasted spend. And because none of our products were made out of steel, that was a good opportunity for us to just go and say, okay, we're going to negative phrase match the word steel from all of our campaigns. And that alone was able to lower just that one negative phrase match applied to all of our campaigns was actually able to lower a cost by like one or two percentage points, which, so I always like using that example. And that's kind of what you're, what you're trying to find here. So as you start coming through here, you'll, you can, it's really just an opportunity for you to come through and see if you're running into any of those scenarios you can go back to your search and report and double check why, why do, do this terms that contain these not do well? Is it because of the, our keyword kind of ad group pairing isn't that great? Stuff like that. But then you can also see that we have the monogram, bigram, tri trigram. So we were given the example before of anniversary where if, if you're just looking at that one word, then to, to see all of anniversary in aggregate, how does that appear on a monogram? If you switch over to bigram, it's going to be taking two terms. So we could actually see if anniversary appears here again. And yep, there's second anniversary. And I'm not sure if there's another example. Anniversary gifts is another one. Anniversary shirt, couple anniversary, anniversary cotton. So year anniversary. Yeah. So what the trigram is going to do is break out up to two terms within those search terms. And once again, you can sort by ACOS. And this will, this will give you just another view to potentially discover if, you know, maybe size, for example, we don't want to just do negative phrase size because we, that's probably relevant in a lot of our searches, but on the bigram, you might see that, huh, plus size. I don't actually sell plus size products. And I say that when plus and size are used together in a search term, that's actually driving up really high a cost and it's not something that we sell. So 
this is just going to give you one additional breakout point to start looking at in your search terms. And then of course there's trigram. I personally don't use trigram that, that often things usually start getting as you're adding on more and more words to your, to your keywords, then you're, you typically start getting a bit more relevant. So you, if, when you do go to the trigram report, you're usually going to see like, if I sort by highest day costs, the highest day cost here is not as high as the highest day cost on bigram or monogram, because as you're, you're getting longer tail, you're, you're likely getting more accurate, more relevant. So you, you probably won't see as much wasted spend opportunity here. I do most of my, you'll usually find the best opportunities on monogram where there's the most wasted spend, but sometimes with scenarios like size, that's just really, really short. Maybe you do kind of need to do a, a bigram to tack on one additional word to, to see if there's something that, that can work out there. So that's basically all it is. And I'll show you one last thing here. Oh, you'll, I guess two last things here. You'll see the words like four <laughs> appearing or, or stuff like stuff like that quite a bit. Let me sort this again by spend. You know, you'll see a lot of these appear, which, you know, there's just nothing we can do about that. You just ignore them. Like obviously if people are looking for shirts for men, shirts for women, whatever. The word four doesn't indicate anything. It's just saying, hey, look, this, you know, the word four appears a lot. And you just got to disregard those. That's not the point of a monogram report is to, separ to separate out like, you know, little uh, conjunctions or particles of, of words. So same with the bigram. It says four kids, you know, just something to keep in mind that, that don't get, don't get too worried about, don't try to negative phrase four or something like that, you know, but yeah, when you're doing it in the, in the, the bigram, you know, if it's like plus size, what you can do here is if you are trying to compare those search terms, you wouldn't want to say contains plus size like that. I mean, you could, but we're not necessarily trying to do that. What you actually want to do is you want to search for contains plus and contains size, which is going to open up a couple of different variations. Now, most of these are seemingly to, you know, being the phrase plus size, but if that word was, was broken out at all, like size plus or something like that, it would be sure to pull that in. So, you know, when you are looking at the, the biogram report and you're coming back to see what, what terms are coming through there in the search term report, you would just do plus and size, or I think the other example that we just had was potato and shirt was, was one, right? Potato shirt. Yeah. Potato shirt. So you can see, yeah, potato sweatshirt actually. So yeah, the, the engram actually wouldn't have been capturing these ones because it wouldn't have been capturing sweatshirt because that's one word. So that's something to keep in mind. That was just something with the, uh, with the Excel filter was, was a little bit different. So yeah, these ones are all kind of, this one maybe wasn't the, the, Great example. We could try one more. We could try, let's try Rico shirt or trumpet hoodie. We'll try trumpet hoodie. See if anything interesting comes up there. But this is all it is. You're just going through and checking out a few different examples. And yeah, I, I didn't really find the variations I was looking for. Oh yeah, here we go. Hoodies trumpet. So that one, it, it kind of, you know, rearranges the word order, but that's all, that's all this tool is meant to do. It's just to give you an additional data point, potentially discover some some themes, right? You're trying to find specific themes and that's probably the best way to think about it. Think of these monograms and biograms as themes within your search terms that can create really good negative phrase match opportunities. And I highly recommend checking it out. I will say we only do this around when you're first onboarding an account, you'll probably want to do this once a month or every other month. Well, definitely like when you first onboard it, when you're first onboarding a new account or new client, or if you've never done a monogram report before, Definitely worth doing uh, big time for, for, for the early stages of, of a new account. And then after you've done it a couple of times, you'll see that the results become less spectacular. And so after a while, you know, you probably only have to do this maybe once a quarter or something like that to, to just kind of double check and refresh if there are any new themes trending within your search and reports. But otherwise, you don't have to do it all the time. So hope you guys find this helpful. We, we really like it. It's a really cool tool for us. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one.